Welcome, gang. Today I'm at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites in Tampa, right next to the Mid Florida Credit Union. Come inside and check it out with me. <laughs> Got check in right there. You spin around, and there's a business center for all your important faxes and emails you may need to to do. There's a little sitting area as well if you're waiting for rideshare or Aunt Linda who just can't get her crap together and be downstairs when she's supposed to. Super easy check-in process. We had zero issues uh, getting checked in yesterday. You've got a little vending area over here. You can grab whatever you want, charge it to your room, and the prices aren't even out of hand either. All right, let's check out this lift. All right. So it's definitely seen better days. And it definitely has a smell. Uh, trying to describe what it is. I would say B.O. and a little bit of Grandma's house. Yeah, a little bit of Grandma's house and B.O. That, uh, that explains this elevator. Hallways are pretty dark in here. And of course it does smell like a Holiday Inn. So you got that going for you. All right, so here we are, room 304. They call it some sort of sweet. I don't know how sweet it is, but we'll find out. All right, they went with the brand name Dove Hand Wash Body Lotion. Oh, and we've got the backlit mirror. So pretty spacious. I mean, it's nothing that's gonna, you know, change your life. Tub and shower. Got a big mirror as soon as you come in the entryway. Escape plan of action, in case you wanna plan your modus operandi. Little ledge there to put your tchotchke on. Refrigerator, coffee maker, microwave, some K-Cups, Green Mountain. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. Decent sized TV. That should work fine. A little writing desk for all them postcards you're going to mail to people. And this uh, suite has this little room um, and that couch does fold out into a bed. Another TV, king size bed, storage on both sides, USBs, all that good stuff. So since we are here for, um, Mandy and Simon are going to, let's see, Stone Temple Pilots and Live tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow excuse me, I will be doing uh, Jane's Addiction and Love and Rockets. So I only picked this place because it's directly across the street and walking distance to the venue. So yeah, for, you know, $179 a night, I think this will work. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but it sure as hell beats driving home as well. What's in there? Well, don't think I didn't make the hotel pay for having such terrible artwork. When I travel, I usually bring my own artwork. I can't trust the Holiday Inn Express and Suites to do the right thing. There you go. Now it feels like home. Now, when the wife left this morning to head back home, she told me don't come home with this scruff. So I guess I'm gonna have to shower real quick and shave this off before the show tonight because I gotta leave early. So let's take a look at the shower, see how good it is. Sweet Jesus. Knights of Cologne. 
numbers that time. Well, the water temperature isn't ideal, and neither is the pressure. All right, there we go. That should make Mama happy. Got some fruit over here, a cereal station. So breakfast was pretty much exactly what I expected. Kind of an instant uh, scrambled egg. The pancakes with their own little machine still did not uh, reveal many qualities to me, but you know what? We've still had a great time. And it's better than having no breakfast at all. All right, outside to the pool. Just had a pretty good breakfast. Pretty much exactly what I expected. No surprises and no alarms. It was uh, pretty comical last night watching all the people with their cars backed up to the fence here, having a little party, listening to music, drinking beer, you know the way these uh, less expensive hotels are supposed to be treated, so good times. Brought back some memories. Alright, pool looks pretty clear. Got a little seating out here. Yeah. Yeah, a couple stains to explain over there. People having fun in the lounge chair. Yeah, got a little Corona box over here. So breakfast has since ended but I did want to show you this area all kind of put back together. So pretty communal in the morning. They got the news on, got the faux fireplace kicking, some places to plug in and charge over there at that table, which is kind of nice. These doors open up and then you go into that room that uh, you know has all the breakfast accoutrement and all day coffee. So at any time, 24 hours a day, you can come down here and get coffee. They have hot teas. That's your thing. But the lobby, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Well, they do have a fitness center. Not that I will be frequenting it, but just for, just for quick reference for those of you that want to come in here and pick up some heavy stuff and put it back down. It does exist. So yeah, if you know how to work any of this stuff, great news, they have it. And if you overdo it, don't worry. They've got an emergency phone. All in all, it's a pretty nice little property. There's only 75 rooms here in the hotel. So you don't run into a ton of folks.
right over there is the roof to the amp. So you simply come out of your room, walk right over yonder to those gates where those cones are, walk right through. And it's about a 10 minute walk. It's not three or four minutes, but you know, at the end of the day, it works. All right, gang. Well, that's going to do it from the Holiday Inn Express and Suites here at the Tampa Fairgrounds. You know what? I had an absolutely great stay here. I think this place is absolutely perfect. Those of you coming to town to watch a show, I mean, I paid $144 a night all in, and I'm walking distance to the venue. So, I mean, I just don't think you can beat it. Have you stayed here before? Let me know in the comments how your experience went. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. Thank you so much. Cheers. So when you want to make yourself feel like you're at home and feel comfortable, make yourself feel like you're at home and comfortable.